Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are in the land of beautiful women, poutine, and expensive alcohol. Toronto, Canada. Let's do it, let's have some fun. Here we go. truth it's a lot like New York the only difference is that people are really really friendly and the food might be a wee bit better here you can't front but definitely not the pizza definitely not the pizza something I really appreciate about the place is how diverse it is you have tons of cultures people from all over the world all mixing together in an appreciated space we have diversity in the United States in New York in the Northeast but it's not necessarily celebrated in the same way how it is here for better or for worse, here in Toronto, you have tons and tons of dispensaries. Are you ready to get the street art thing going? <laughs> Let's go. I just got out here to beaches and this place is underrated. Super underrated. Everybody's happy. There's, there's something infectious in the air here. There are a lot of children smiling, old people with their grandkids pushing shoulders, happy dogs. It makes you want to settle down. I actually have a younger cousin here. He lives further out in the suburbs. He's 24. He's due to get married in a couple months. Safe to say that he and I live a different life. God bless him. Just give me one hello. Hi. <laughs> this is Jessica. You'll see more of her later on. I can't front. I'm a little bit hungry. I think I want to go and get something real quick. really good now there's nothing spectacular about a burger but have you ever had a bacon jalapeno cheddar burger with pineapple on it this is cracked to a foodie is it lit? it's lit we're going that right so, now should we go to pizza place? Oh, oh. Uchi being awkward. It's all right. Sorry, right. we'll warm her up. We'll warm her up. Yeah. One slice. I'm on the Ossington right now. Okay, okay. Yeah, and like, wait, that pizza, remember that pizza, Joe's Pizza we got? No, I don't. She's referring to Joe's Pizza in Brooklyn. It was, uh, wait, what, the one you brought us? Yeah, you didn't like it. Uh oh, uh oh. Maybe because it was veggie. Okay. It was good though. I thought it was good. Well, don't oh, like she didn't it. like it. Sorry. Not the vegetables, not the vegetables then. But I don't know, it was a little like, I, I mean, I was expecting like New York, but we were looking for like 99 cents. Yeah, that's mm, greasy, right. Well, no, like, you guys didn't tell me that, then I could have went to the spot near my house. Yeah, she's more sure. Remember that, what's that bleacher place? Bleacher. Bleaker. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you could have went to uh, Artichoke. Artichoke. Yeah. Even though I cheat on my city with a lot of other cities, I want you guys to know that I think New York City is the greatest city in the world. Hands down. Good. Yeah. All right, we'll see. Not New York good for you. Tell them Vanessa said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have no idea who I am. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. They, will <laughs> they will know. Folks, just to introduce her properly, this is Vanessa, better known as Uchi. Okay. Oh. Okay. What is this thing? <laughs> what are you doing? 
What am I doing? Yeah, who's the uh, for? It? This, this is for my Are community. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. I want to come here, though. Yeah. Okay. We outside. This way? Alright. Do you hear what she just said? Blasphemy. between Toronto and New York. We were just refused pizza because they were sold out. What time is it? It is 8.23. In New York, the party is just getting started at 8.23. Shame on Toronto. Shame. Very embarrassing. We're gonna go back to the other piece of place. We're going back to the other one. Is it good? I have no idea. Madam Uchi. What say you? We'll see. We'll see. It might be a hit or a miss. Or hit or miss? All right. Maybe. Never. 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 Oh, I look at it. Hi. She's so underrated. Are you okay? Love her. Can we do it? Thank you so much. Salud, friends. Salud. Cheers to Keenan. Cheers, mates. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. Sorry, we already moved again. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. Hey, hey. Cheers to amazing friends. Yes. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? It's actually good. It's very nice. It's like better than my And then we ended the night in some crazy warehouse party in the West End. So let me actually show you where I'm staying. Okay, I'm on the top floor of a house here in Beaches. And it's a beautiful, beautiful apartment. Um, of course, I'm a messy guy. So I kind of probably destroyed it a little bit. But um, here you have the living room. Right? Bathroom, kind of a cute shower, okay. Small little kitchen area. And then the bedroom. Okay. It's the bedroom area. See, nice paintings on the wall. And this is the balcony. In the relatively mild summers of Toronto, the greenery really comes alive. Otherwise, eight, nine months out of the year, it's cold season. You know, here for this particular weekend that I'm staying here in the city of Toronto, this is actually the most affordable place um, because I booked very, very late in the game. Back in the day when I was younger, you used to be able to find really, really inexpensive good places in Toronto. But um, it's not that way so much after the pandemic. We're going to switch gears real quick, but let me take this time to invite you to Toronto's Caribbean Carnival, Caravana. That video will be highlighted in the comment section as well as in the description box below. You know you're getting older when post-carnival maintenance looks like this. So here we are just one day after Caravana. We have a large Indian food festival here at Nathan Phillips Square. It's dope. <laughs> Okay, still 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay. I think I think we have some people in the audience who know the answer. Okay. Jamie, I, I would say go to them. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. But none of you have given the correct answer. Thank you. So I'm gonna I mean they are all equal. It's important to note that Indians are not a monolithic group, and regionally there are differences in the cuisine.
I don't know what it is about this city, but all the beautiful women are here. Guys, I'm very intentional about not objectifying women on this channel, but god damn, there is a sister that is bad as hell. And I'm going to fake uh, doing the Toronto sign again. To my sisters, I apologize for my behavior in advance. So no doubt Toronto is a beautiful and clean and amazing city. However, people always tell me don't go to Parliament. So you know I have to go to Parliament. Let's do it. So I've been warned plenty of times not to come here, but at this point, there's a lot of construction that's popping up all over Toronto, and at some point, this place is not going to be here. So I'm here in the Sherbourne area, Cabbage Town area, and uh, let's look around. Let's see what's up. So, based on what I'm seeing down here. It's not just poverty, it's a lot of uh, substance abuse. Definitely a lot of substance abuse going on here. And that's the reason why people are strolling out, sleeping on grass and stuff like that. It's different. Toronto is a lot better at solving their social issues than we are in the States. So um, it's a little bit surprising to see a little pocket of, of this. Right, but again, it's a little pocket and it's not a whole thing. During the 70s, during the cocaine and crack and heroin sort of uh, epidemic, that, that meeting of all those things, um, this was a really, really tough area in terms of people that were out on the streets and doing whatever they had to do to survive. You still see a little bit of that over there, but it's not the same levels. You're fucking You're all right. teach me something, yo. Why do you fucking teach me a word? Why don't you teach me a word? Why don't you read me a book? Still gonna find the book and read it to me. Teach me a book. Teach me something. Teach me something, yo. I'm homeless, yo. Do something for me, yo. Do something for me, yo. I'm in the street, yo. I'm in the street, yali, 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 yali. You haven't even found those good stuff yet. I'm hungry, yo. I need you, Mama. You are on another trip. You have a girl. I love you. I love you. Oh. Hello. 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 Oh, I'm just like, I'm hurt. And you have to be the Well, that was interesting. That was I think the lesson from that experience is homelessness is bad. And personally, I think I'm hereby finished with all relationships with Toronto women. One of my absolute favorite districts here in Toronto, Distillery District. Let's give it a little look. is super diverse you can have literally whatever you want you want canadian spirits you can have that you want japanese sake you can have it you want to have a big steak with fries next to it you can do it also if you've never tried japanese sake you're sorely missing out Put down the Moscatos and Cabernets and give this one a shot.
And because we have some more Canadian cash to burn, let's try Spanish style tapas. Years ago at this very same park on the Esplanade, my friends and I were walking past the soccer field and some gentlemen had called us over to play some soccer. And of course, you can't tell cocky, formerly athletic New Yorkers anything. I don't know what was in the room, but we netted a collective seven goals between us. Anything is possible, my friends. Let's try one more thing before we get out of here. Guys, the last three or four times, virtually every time that I've tried poutine, I hated it. Let's see how this goes. hungry and you eat something, it's more likely that you'll feel like it tastes good when it doesn't. Listen, I love Canadians, but I still don't like poutine. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I actually have to run back to Union Station to catch my bus, so I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I'm going to